Washington a fifth woman accused Roy S. Moore, the Republican Senate candidate in Alabama, on Monday of making sexual or romantic advances toward her when she was a teenager, as senior Republicans in Washington called for him to drop out of the race and threatened to expel him from the Senate if he wins. The new accuser, Beverly Young Nelson, told a news conference in New York that Mr. Moore attacked her when she was 16 and he was a prosecutor in Etowah County, Ala. M.S. Nelson was represented at the news conference by Gloria Allred, a lawyer who has championed victims of sexual harassment. I tried fighting him off, while yelling at him to stop, but instead of stopping, he began squeezing my neck attempting to force my head onto his crotch, M.S. Nelson said in a statement she issued at the news conference. She said M.R. Moore warned her that no one will believe you if she told anyone about the encounter in his car. Hours earlier, Senator Mitch McConnell, the Republican leader, said M.R. Moore should step aside and that he believes the women who have accused M.R. Moore of sexual misconduct when they were teenagers. I believe the women, yes, M.R. McConnell said at a news conference in Louisville. M.R. McConnell also said that encouraging a right-in candidate to run in the December 12 special election is an option we are looking at. Senator Cory Gardner of Colorado, speaking in his role as chairman of the National Republican Senatorial Committee, said that if M.R. Moore wins the special election on December 12, he should be expelled from the Senate, because he does not meet the ethical and moral requirements of the United States Senate. M.R. Moore, a judge who was twice removed from the state's high court, first for refusing to remove the Ten Commandments from the Supreme Court grounds, then for refusing to accept gay marriage, responded defiantly. He showed no sign of leaving the race ahead of Alabama's December 12 special election date. In an afternoon statement, M.R. Moore's campaign described M.S. Allred as a sensationalist leading a witch hunt, and she is only around to create a spectacle. The statement, issued before MS. Allred's news conference in New York, denied again any sexual misconduct with anyone by MR. Moore. Republicans here and in Alabama have been up in arms over the accusations, published last week in the Washington Post, that MR. Moore pursued sexual or romantic relationships with teenagers when he was in his 30s. The reports have upended a race in a state that has not elected a Democratic senator in 25 years. In a fundraising appeal, Mr. Moore reached out to his supporters with the subject line, Mitch McConnell's plot to destroy me. Apparently Mitch McConnell and the establishment GOP would rather elect a radical pro-abortion Democrat than a conservative Christian, he wrote. And Mr. Moore's wife, Kayla Moore, lashed out in a Facebook post on Monday, complaining about a witch hunt in Alabama and claiming that we are gathering evidence of money being paid to people who would come forward. Washington establishment and Democrat Party will stop at nothing to stop our campaign, she wrote.